Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather and this is Create Your Own Cozy. On today's video, I'm going to do five more thrift flips, things that I found from the thrift store that I am going to upcycle to try to make a profit. I'm opening my booth really soon, March 1st. I'm so excited. And these flips are gonna be featured in my booth coming up. So if you wanna see what I do, stick around. Now these are the products I'm using for this video. I got this Rust-Oleum Chalked Linen White Paint at Walmart. Same thing with the Waverly Antiquing Wax. And this is my mixed with water. And then these are the two spray paints that I used. I did do clear coats before and after transfers. Let's get started with the first project. I got this little wagon for like a dollar a while back thinking I would wait until spring and spring is practically here. So the good thing is I could take it apart and just sprayed two coats of this white spray paint but it was windy and rainy outside and I was rushing it so I made a mess. So I had to sand it and then I sprayed it again and you know what I've noticed I am not a good or patient spray painter. You know what? You can't be good in everything. And you know what? At least I, I know myself. <laughs> anyway, so I have this foam from the Dollar Tree here that I am kind of shoving in here so that it's nice and tight. I'm going to use some spray adhesive and that I happen to have in the house and then put some moss also from the Dollar Tree on the top and then the greenery that I'm going to use is I end up using is like the eucalyptus stuff it was from Walmart last year I don't know yet if they have it out this year mine was a little bit sparse and people are saying that they're able to get some lavender so hoping that Walmart has their spring stuff out there The next little birdhouse I got from another haul from Jenny that gives me free stuff, but it had been outside and whoever had it before um, did kind of a sloppy paint job. So I tried to get it off with water and that didn't work. So I am using a 220 grit sandpaper and just kind of sanding the spaces that should be like that brown wood look. And that actually worked pretty well. Um, this is going to my booth and this is not the I'm having I'm gonna start out with wood white and apothecary so this blue is not working um, so I'm just gonna do one layer of this white rust-oleum chalked paint and after that use an 80 grit sander sanding sponge to just kind of I mean this is a very rustic look right so I'm just going to rough up the edges and then this this paint that I use from Walmart it's very white and I did not want everything to look like it was just painted so throughout this whole video I am using the the chalked paint 
but I'm using a watered down antiquing wax just real quick over the chalk paint just to age it a bit and make it the color that I want it. Now this next one is a nod to a project I did last week on an old cutting board. I stopped in a thrift store and this is all I found. It was $1.99 and I love the shape and I love the cutout. And I did one layer with the waxed wash but it wasn't as dark as I wanted it. So I just took my wet brush and put it straight into the antiquing wax to get a darker look. Um, and then just wiped it back and it does dry a lot lighter than this. After I did end up sanding that center space because I'm not going to do a burlap this week. I am going to do a two tone and just use the the same um, chalked paint from Rust-Oleum in the center because there's a nice place to be able to stop. I did one layer and that is it. Um, I did wet distress and then went over it with then went over it with the watered down antiquing wax again just so it would be a nice aged white i got back out my iod brocante transfers i know i'm using them a lot but i love them and this is all in the same one pack that i got which is the fun part there's so many options now you can see right here I got some white paint on the edge. If you just get a really wet paper towel, um, it'll wash right off if you do it right away um, on the raw wood. So this um, might be one of my favorites on this one. Guys, let me know, what do you think? I also did a clear coat of paint both before and after the IOD transfers. So here's another birdhouse that I got from the thrift store. I forget, I think it's between two and three dollars. Um, as you see, someone did a wonderful hand painting job, but I did not love it. So I, uh, I first I tried to paint it and then I could still see the paint through it. So I sanded it down. Um, I went over the side with the white. I, I did not know what I wanted to do to this, but when I saw how the top sanded down, I was like, oh look, it wants to be two-tone. Two-toned it shall be, antiquing wax in the water, over the raw wood and over the white, and I think this definitely um, provided an update. What do you think?
Now for the last project. I got this when I went thrifting with my sister-in-law in Texas for $6 last summer, saving it for spring, and here we are. It is a dried boxwood rabbit, but these ears were a mess. So first things first, I'm yanking all those off. Then I'm getting out some drop cloth and doing basically the same size around it and you'll see that I end up cutting it too short and um, don't worry this first drop cloth will not go to right waste I'm gonna do a nice little bonus project in here but I do drop cloth ears and then I think that those are falling a little flat and add some felt to it so I show you both ways I'm curious to see whether you thought I needed to go that extra step sometimes I'm like I feel like I just create more work for myself but you know I like it to be a certain way and have some depth so I do use hot glue to put these on and um, the bonus project is pretty self-explanatory so I'm just gonna let you listen to some music and enjoy and let me know in the comments below what do you think Okay, y'all, I'm breaking in. Look what one of my kids did to a piece of felt. Does this bother anybody else? They cut something out in the middle of the felt. This is like crafting 101. I still have some teaching to do. Back to the project.
what did you guys think? Did you have a favorite? Would you have done something differently? I would love to know in the comments below if there's something that I did and now you're gonna look at the thrift store to try to do something similar. Did I inspire you to look around your house, take something that's a little outdated and upcycle it a little bit, either from your, for your home or for you guys to sell for profit? Let me know in the comments below what your favorite item was. If you like this video, I'd love a big thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting that notification bell to all so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. Guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Henry, are you upset with me that I won't stop moving? Come here, baby. Come on, mom is editing. Come sit on my legs. Oh, come on, baby. Come on, right here. Come here, sweetie. Come lay down. There we go. That's my good boy. Hey, lay down. Come on, you can do it.